Hi, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, the various options that are presented when opening an account at connectkarioki.com uh, which you will uh, have to do to use Siglos in web server mode. Uh, so first we have to go to connectkarioki.com uh, which is our uh, sister site that we use for uh, providing access to your show for, for your customers. Uh, here at the bottom you have register button which takes us to the register page uh, where we have to enter all, all the usual data like username, uh, first last name, email address and password. Let's do this. Right, we are registered, we can log in now. in and see what we have here. This is the uh, main account uh, information uh, where we have to uh, change some data for Siglos to run smoothly. Uh, the most important thing is the show name which is a unique name for your show uh, that will be used uh, by your customers to enter the show. So. say something like this. Uh, then we have two options here. One is where you can enable or disable the access to your show. So uh, you may choose to block the uh, internet uh, access to the show for some reason. Uh, or you can, the, the second option, you can require uh, the customers to enter the code before entering the show. Uh, this can be useful if uh, if you have uh, customers that uh, play jokes on you and uh, log into your show from home, which is obviously possible because this is all um, uh, through the web. Uh, so if you change the access code every night, uh, only the people that know the code and are actually in the building can uh, access the the show. Uh, you can generate random code here. Uh, and uh, the last, uh, but I think the most important thing here is uh, API key, which uh, uh, will be used to connect uh, Siglos Karaoke Professional to the server. And we will be using this uh, in our next tutorial, in which I will, sh in which uh, I will show you how to set up Siglos. Uh, to run internet remote request server. Uh, so thank you for now. Uh, let's click update so, so this stays put and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.